Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Adamas character of our world around us and today we will talk about distraction. What type of distraction I mean? Ok, let's start. You see that we are bombarded by the mm, set of information, I would say, set of horrific information from the Middle East, from other regions of the world. Uh, after some time, like two years, when people get tired and bored with the information from one place, we get another one, Re artificial or real one doesn't matter, but all the time we are informed officially that there is some conflict, that there is a probability of third world war and 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 and. and, and. Uh, yeah, of course, all the time on duty we have climate crisis, we have environmental disaster coming and many many other things. From time to time we also have information uh, popping up about population crisis, so-called population aging, which is really stupid term, also making everything blurred because population is either growing or in stagnation or dying out. Population is not aging. Long ago I recorded a video about it in English as in Polish, so two videos. One uh, can go back to it about demography and you will know what I think about it exactly. This is what I briefly uh, said now and we see that we are getting distracted a lot especially in recent ones why farmers protest craftsmen protests and people protest against uh, pseudo ecological actually quasi religious and pseudo scientific madhouse called green economy green transformation with the promotion of sun batteries and so called electric uh, toys, very expensive ones, which are uh, in a very confusive way called electric cars. That, especially in Western Europe, the corporations, motor corporations, want to force us to buy, together with the bribed governments, they want to for force us to buy it and to use it because they are not able to compete on the uh, global markets anymore with their competitors from US, Asia and even in Africa. As I told you, even Ethiopia is trying with some success to produce their, their own cars. I'm really happy and congratulations to Ethiopia, as I mentioned some time ago. So we see that we are getting distracted and we shouldn't allow uh, our rulers, our uh, governments we see and our governments we don't see officially because we have always two types of governments collaborating with each other hand in hand governments we see and governments we don't see and we shouldn't allow people from these uh, two governments actually one in total we shouldn't with two components visible and not visible we shouldn't allow them to distract us from the most important things uh, to our lives. And the most important thing to our life is, from the materialistic point of view, food and basic goods we need. I'm not talking about luxury or really redundant uh, items, but I'm talking about the basics without which we cannot function efficiently on a basic level. So, as I, as I said, we cannot uh, lose our focus and we, sh we have to defend uh, the producers, small producers, our brothers and sisters, our country fellows uh, who are producing it, working really hard and now protesting for their survival. We see that they are working, of course, for themselves, for their own profits, but they also work for us to 
to provide us this what we need on a basic level and uh, by doing so they are uh, securing our basic personal freedoms uh, and thanks to this fact we can later uh, struggle for the freedom on a higher level but without uh, having a choice with respect to food and with respect to provider of basic goods we need to function properly we are not able to secure our freedoms at any level neither higher nor lower level that is why these protests are so crucial and as i mentioned soon summer is coming so um, our friends farmers and uh, craftsmen and others but especially it applies to farmers they will go to the fields to harvest uh, crops and other products of uh, their heavy work and they will not be able to protest that's why we should replace them in protesting and do not give any second of freedom to our governments we see and to our, our governments we don't see they need to feel the fist of the nation demos kratos so demos the nation kratos fist we have to show them real democracy but with ancient greek meaning we have to show them the fist of the nation and actually i would say every nation should show to the governments they see and to the governments they don't see fist of the nation and then everything will be fine we we cannot be lazy we cannot be afraid because as i mentioned we are struggling for the basics of our materialistic and spiritual freedoms we are struggling for our basic choices that's why we have to show to the governments we see and to the governments we don't see fists of the nations they would like to uh, use they would like to rob and they would like to enslave on the most basic level all the best have a nice day bye